so let's so let's try what's on X that runs IBM a granite LLM so when you have an account with IBM you just see the dashboard uh, so for those who want to I'm just going to simulate two things those who want to create an API key and have this programmatically uh, or use IBM to do programming or come up with their own chatbots or use their generative AI something like that just come to manage and you click access I am so this identity uh, manager basically helps you to create these APIs so under there you click on API keys so you can be able to create it from here it is really uh, straightforward uh -huh. then uh, for those who want to try what's on X so you click on the, um, the menu you just go back to what's on X you click on it so you open this uh, basically you open this uh, that has a uh, generate what's on x.ai this is something different uh, workflows i think and data so what you want is a chat box this is the, the llm uh, so let's try it out so it's signing in so to try out what's on x you really need a free account uh, so um so there's something we call a prompt lab so let me just uh, as you can see here you can tune a uh, foundation model uh, work with data in python or our notebooks which this is interesting um, these are resources down here and some features uh, so i already have some stuff already going on here so uh, let me just uh, open my prompt lab that i created so um, the three things that you need to take uh, you need to know and um, uh, IBM interface. You have the chat section where you can just basically type with the chat bot, and you also have the structured and free form uh, version. So structured, you you can now customize the bot. Uh, you can just maybe a uh, uh, helpful agent that will do mental health something like this. You can give examples, then you try the examples from here. Then free form is basically like auto completion. So you click, you start something, then it can help you uh, auto complete. Maybe you can say hi, and then it just does the auto completion for you. So as you can see, it's doing this auto completion, but I don't know why it's bringing me these classes, these classes of code. I didn't even I just said hi. So uh, to get the code, um, you just click on this view code, and you'll have the code. And then Python and you're using request and this is like the URL endpoint and the bearer token. So for those who have created now the API key, uh, let me just show you how to create the bearer token. So you have not JSON and curl, but if you have curl, you can use on any programming language. Just choose uh, whatever you want. So currently uh, it's, uh, we are on IBM model uh, on Granite. Uh, so this is what we are using 13 b 13 billion parameters i guess and uh, there are other models that are not uh, really uh, bm related you see a uh, llama and uh, but they're all here so some of them are uh, just put them for you to actually get to have what you are feel of other models you can just change uh, to whatever model you want to change to so also um guardrails ethical considerations you can save your prompts here uh, then uh, the other thing wanted this is now the when you've when you've given it uh, something you need then this is basically for uh, uh, tweaking the model settings so for example it's on greedy so greedy basically probable uh, best way uh, sampling is usually the I think the best but usually also um, if you for example change this you can use it gives you temperature uh, nuclear sampling uh, top case this basically like tokens uh, the best is basically randomization that's what sampling does and you can give it a random seed a number of tokens repetition um, the penalty in other words a stopping criteria um, then the number of uh, stopping sequences maybe you could just take 10 something like that then the maximum number of tokens uh, are returned so for those who want to do it programmatically uh, this is the code but I already have something uh, so, so this is how you create the, the bearer token um, for IBM. So if you've created the API key, 
So this is the endpoint URL that we shall use to create a bearer token and uh, the data. So basically you come and paste your key here under here. Um, grant type, you leave this to that API key. Headers, this is basically uh, other headers and then you post to that URL and the data and then the headers that's it basically so this token actually expires you'll see um you'll see how uh, this actually works out so from here you can actually have your uh, your token so this is the code i just came up with to help me come up with mine and uh, which works well uh, right now so you just come uh, paste the api key here yeah yeah, yeah. and you'll be good to go that's it for this video. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video.